With the hardware configuration open, double click the CPU to open its properties. Click on the cycle clock memory tab. The first field that can be edited is the scan cycle monitoring time or watchdog timer. By default, the max scan cycle time is set at 150 milliseconds. This means from the time that OB1 begins until the scan is completed and OB1 begins again, you have 150 milliseconds. If the scan time is exceeded, OB80 is called for. If it has been downloaded to the CPU, the watchdog time will be temporarily expanded. If OB80 is not in the CPU, the mode will be switched to stop. You can reduce this number or expand this number up to 6,000 milliseconds. When communication is carried out, for example between two CPUs, the scan time is increased. The scan cycle load from communication percent influences the amount of time that the scan can be increased as a result of communications. If you are doing heavy communications in your project, click the help button to see the communication load formula and more details about setting this field. Placing a check in the box prioritized OCM communication will speed up communication between the HMI and CPU but does slightly increase the scan time. If the CPU does not support this function, the box is grayed out. The default size of the input and output process images, in other words how many IOs you can have, is 128 bytes or 1024 bits by default. On newer CPUs such as this one, the size of the process images can be expanded up to 2048 bytes or 16384 bits. Let's increase this value to 256 bytes. We will also change the output image size to be 256 bytes. The default for OB85 callup at IO access error is no OB85 callup. The optional organization block 85 can be programmed and downloaded for a response if an I.O. access error occurs during the update of the input or output process image. If you wish to program an OB85 call, it is recommended that you not choose at each individual access or OB85 will be called every scan for every update of the images and the scan cycle time will be increased. Instead, choose only for incoming and outgoing errors. Then OB85 will only be called if there's an error during the updating of the input and output images. The clock memory is the allocation of one byte of the M memory area. Let's assign byte 10. Once a byte is assigned and the hardware configuration downloaded, each bit of the byte begins cycling on and off at the rate shown in the table. In the code example, memory bit 10.3 will cause output Q5.0 to flash at a frequency of 2 Hz. Or said another way, the bit will be true for 0.25 seconds and false for 0.25 seconds for a total period of 0.5 seconds. When you're finished setting CPU parameters, click OK to close the properties window. After CPU parameters have been changed, the hardware configuration must be saved and compiled and downloaded again. The other tabs of CPU properties are discussed in separate videos.